Hey guys, what's going on? Um, this here is going to be a review of the navigation system in the Boss BN965BLC. So I have done a full review of this actual stereo and a lot of people on that video were requesting that they wanted to get a review specifically of the navigation system. So here it is here. Now I'll also put a link into my previous video for the full review of the system of the stereo. And so if you wanted to get some more information specifically about the stereo and all the things that it does, you can check that video out. But if you wanted to know just about how the navigation works, the different settings on there, what you can change, what you can't, this is going to be the video for you. So um, right now I am going to get into the navigation system um, from the radio, from if I was just listening to the radio and booted it up. And I'm going to do that so that way you get an accurate um, depiction of the time and how long everything takes to load, how long it takes for you to get your uh, GPS signals and stuff like that. So I'm going to click on this navigation button. And it loads what it needs to. And right now the sound is off. Um, and so I'm just going to say no. Okay, and as you see, it picked up the GPS signal pretty quickly and here over here it shows you how strong that signal is and as you can see there it um, got the signal pretty quickly and right now it's showing an unknown street name because I'm actually in a parking lot doing this video um, and so that's why it shows an unknown street name but as soon as I was to if I was to get on the street it would show you what street that I was on at the bottom there so currently, um, as you can see here, I'll just go over what you can see and the different things you can change. So at the bottom here, you have your miles per hour. Uh, once I start moving, that's going to change. And that's being calculated by the GPS, um, knowing where I am and how I'm moving. And right here is also the current time. And this 3D allows you to sh pick which view or how you want the view of your um, navigation to show. So right now it's showing 3D. So if I was actually to go by a building, um, let's say a hospital or something like that, it will actually give me a depiction of the building if I'm in 3D. But if I take it to 2D, it will, you'll see it would actually go more of a top-down view of it. So you can pick how you want it to show and that's up to you. But I like 3D version better, so that's that's how I currently have it. And as you can see here, you have your zoom in and your zoom out. Um, I don't really mess with these at all because I currently have the system set to automatically adjust the view. So I don't mess with that personally. And I'll, I'll go over that also in the um, different settings for the navigation system. But if you wanted to you just go ahead and get a more detailed zoom of where you're going you can do that um, right now I have it set to dynamic so once I was to start moving it would it would change and adjust by itself anyway so you can zoom out as much as you need to and all the text is going to adjust with you as well okay so and this right here is just to bring you back to where you originally were after you've zoomed in, after you changed the, the way that things look. And then also you'll get that um, if you were to try to navigate to a point on the map, essentially that button brings you back to what I would call the home screen for this navigation. All right, so without further ado, let me get into the settings of this um, navigation system. And all the settings are going to be in this red menu button right there. So when I click on that, it gives me the go to, my end drive, my route, exit settings. So with go to, that's where you, if you wanted to go somewhere, you can put an address, recent location, uh, places. Um, you can set your home location where your house is. And so that way, if you wanted to navigate to your house, you could just press that home button and it would just automatically um, pull up the navigation to go home. You can also set up favorites and also set up itineraries. So address is pretty um, 
it's pretty self-explanatory. You can put in where exactly you want to go and you can set the street, the house number, um, just like you would in any other GPS system. And it's, it's very good. It has a lot of um, updated, it has pretty updated, recently updated information. And you can always go to N-Drive, which is what this navigation system uses. And then using a SD card reader, you can insert that into your computer. And then using the N-Drive application that you would download from online, you can go ahead and update this map. But this is how you enter an, an address, a specific address that you want to go to, which is more so what I use it for. Um, and then sometimes if I'm just lost and I want to just figure out how to get back home, I usually will use the home button there. Um, recent location, of course, that will get you to places that you've recently entered into the navigation using the uh, address portion. Or even if you've been home, it will be in the recent location. So now places. You can, um, with places, you can find different things so if you wanted to find a school in the city that you lived in if you wanted to find a restaurant in the city that you lived in and there are different ways that you can find these things so you can find around me so like i said if you want to find a restaurant by you want to you can go specifically italian and it will bring up a list of all these italian restaurants and that is really useful to where if you're in a new city and you just kind of wanted to see what kind of restaurant was around you, you could just use this without having to search even using Google. You would you could just pull this up here. And like I said, it has newly and recently updated information. And so you know that where you're going to is more than likely not going to be like a rundown place or something like that. Uh, you know that it's actually still there and it's not closed or anything like that um, but there are different options in different places that you can select from the around me and of course it knows where you are so it's gonna set it's gonna pick a place that's close to you so with coordinates you can actually put in longitude and latitude um, into the the system and it will navigate there um, I don't really use this because I don't really know who searches by latitude and longitude but there are people out there, I'm sure. So this is for those people who want to navigate using that. So in a city, that is similar to the around me. However, you can search a whole city to figure out where something is. So if you want to see restaurants, just not just around me, but in the entire city, you can go ahead and do that. Or if you want to find a place to eat or sorry, a place to sleep. You can do that. And then also you can spe specify with the category. Uh, so you can go and select these. And this is similar to the same with around me, but this is more general for the entire city. And I use this a lot if I just want to find uh, a location and I kind of know that it's going to be either uh, a, a university, a restaurant, or a hospital or something like that. I can just search if I know that I want to see perhaps the closest department stores that are around or that are in this city. You can search like this. So it's a lot of different ways essentially to get to the same, um, the same place, but it gives you the options of, Hey, I want to just search for what's around me. Hey, I want to search specifically for this address. Hey, I want to search using this longitude latitude, or I want to search in the whole entire city. So it gives you the flexibility of being able to pick how you want to navigate to where you want to navigate to. And then also you can use a postcode and enter that in here and you would um, it would show you the places that were around there as well. All right, and like I said, with the home, you can program where you want the home location to be. And so if I was to navigate somewhere, I could have the, I have the option when I'm setting it to set it as my home. And then you can also have your favorites. And then also itineraries, you can add a new itinerary as far as like a navigation list of places that you would want to go.
Okay. So next is my end drive. So this is where you would define your home um, and check different settings about the actual end drive GPS system. And I don't really use this. The only time I really use this is to uh, set where my home was. And um, I haven't, the startup wizard only runs the first time that I, I, I um, installed, or actually when I got this installed. So I haven't really had any need for that. My maps, I haven't really, I don't, I don't really need to, to get into this because it's more stuff you set one time and forget it and you don't really need to anymore. Um, but I'll show you this, the version. This is all the information about the GPS. And we can go back there. And then this also shows you with the my maps, just the different maps that it's picking up. Okay, so right now you see the my route that is going to be illuminated if I had a route that I was going to. And that allows you to stop navigation. And I could put in just a, um, I'll do just uh, places around me. And I'm just going to go to restaurant, Italian. I'm going to set this here. And I'm going to navigate. Okay, and you see loading up. And so right now, this is what the navigation screen looks like if I was going to a specific location. And so if I was to go back to my route, you see that now it is actually illuminated. So if I hit my route, it allows me to do different things related to this route. And I can, sh I can get the road book, which is the listed out directions I can stop the navigation I can show the route I can get an alternate alternative route and I could get a demo of the route that I want so if I show route it'll give me kind of a bird's eye view of it and if I was to go back here my route I could stop the navigation I could do a listed out um, directions of where to go I can get an alternative route um, And it'll show me that as well. If I go back to my route, and I can start a demo of how this route is going to go. So you can kind of see it'll kind of go through where exactly you will have to turn. So that's really cool. I'm going to go back to my route, and I'm just going to stop navigation. All right. So exit, and, and that's kind of just rounding out what my route does. So for exit, that's just exiting out of this whole GPS system. And you would just need to click the button again. And I can do that here so you can see. It says exit end drive. I'm going to go yes. Brings me to the radio. I hit navigation again. And it loads up. And I'm actually just going to activate sounds here. And again, it loads up the GPS signals pretty quickly. Um, and so let's go back into the settings and actually click the settings button. And so in here, there are also more settings that you can set. Um, and we'll click each one and see the different ones there. So on the general, you can set the speakers that you have in your car. I'm assuming I just have it set to four, uh, which is the speaker count in my car international. I don't really use this, um, setting here, um, because it, it's set, it was set like that when I first got the system installed. But if you are living in another country, and the reason why it's labeled international, if you live in another country, you can set it to kilometers per hour. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be um, just miles per hour if you're in the US. But you can set the language. Um, obviously, I, I'm in the US, so I'm gonna have that in English. And you can set the keyboard to have it be however you want it to be. And I prefer the QWERTY keyboard because that's what I'm used to. So the map appearance. Um, lane assistance is essentially when you are 
perhaps going on a nav you're being navigated and you are at a turn that perhaps has four lanes and the two on the left are the ones that turn left or maybe the far left goes left the far right you can go left and a straight ahead and then the the rest of them are just to go straight it can show you exactly it will give you a visual de depiction on the screen of which side to take and that's usually shown if you have a multiple lane um, turn coming up in your navigation but on simple kind of just two lane left turn or one lane left turn it will just um, have the turn at the top portion of the screen here so north up in 2d that's a setting that's for the 2d um, essentially when you're in here it's letting it's essentially allowing you to set that north is up in um, in this 2d version so let me go back here and map appearance and I have that currently turned off in dynamic zoom and that's what I mentioned earlier to where I don't have to mess with the nav uh, with the uh, zoom options it's just automatically set for me in templates you can actually change the way that the GPS looks and there are quite a few here there's contrast which I'm currently using and I like that one but you don't have to use just that you, ha you can have Britannica the, the default but there are different ones that you can cycle through and it just has different colors there so you can pick whichever one you want and then also you see here it has day template and night template so it has the times that it's going to switch from its day template into your night so that way you're not driving around at 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. with this glare from the screen or a bright white screen and that way it's darkened a little bit there is no auto dim function on this system but having the night view um, does allow it to be a little bit more um, seamless at night and not so in your face I guess and you can set an auto toggle for it to just automatically switch so you won't have to go into the template each time that you whenever it hits like five o'clock or something like that so points of interest I currently have them unchecked because I felt like they were cluttering up the screen of the navigation system personally I like the way it looks without any um, points of interest on there but I could select them and uh, let me see here so I could select them and when I if I was to go back to the you see there it puts all these points of interest on there I personally don't like it because it looks too cluttered and unfortunately that's how it comes whenever you first boot the system up it has all these um, points of interest on there but I don't like it because I think it looks a little cluttered and so I have mine set off and that's why you saw that there was not any checked and I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck them and save that okay so routing options now you can pick which route option you want so you can either go the fastest route or you can go the shortest route I like to go the fastest route because that usually gets me on the highway and speaking of highways you can also tell it to avoid tolls um, and then there's also this adventure mode I personally have never enabled it because I kind of just wanted to get me to where I needed to go um, and so I just have never turned it on all right safety options it has a it's because earlier I showed you where it has the um, speed limit you can actually have it to where there's an alarm that sets off if you go over the speed limit because this actually has the ability to let you know if you are going above the speed limit on whatever street that you're on so this only turns on whenever you're using the navigation system to navigate to a specific location it doesn't do that when you're driving day-to-day -day without any destination route set 
but that's really cool and when you're taking a long trip and you're kind of just getting lulled by driving fast uh, it kind of gives you a notification so even if you see a cop you kind of know already just by the system here what the speed limit is so you, you know that you're not going to buff but you don't have to do that <laughs> you don't even need a cop there I guess it's for your own safety um, so that way you are driving uh, carefully and not going above the speed limit but that's really cool um, but I have the alarm part set off and so I have where it says road speed visual alert it'll actually show you on the screen and then safety camera alert um, I have that turned on as well okay so we go to the system settings here and that's just the, for the time format and also the theme of the uh, menu so this right now is set to rainbow if I was to set it to the other setting there would essentially be no color here all right and let's go back here so finally GPS it's on and I haven't really messed with this setting here um, it it's it's set the way it is and I don't really want to mess with the GPS it works fine um, I don't want to mess with any settings there but it's there if you want to set it okay and I'm gonna go back to this just the uh, navigation screen and so the miles per hour here if you are going above the speed limit it will show in this area as a circle and it will just let you know what the speed limit is and it will show that it will um, let you know that you're going over it and also while you are in navigating to somewhere and so I'm just gonna go I'll just do an example so restaurants Italian use this one again and I'll navigate okay so right now on the left side it's showing you how where you're going to turn next and then as you can see here it has the time as the time for when it is right now what time it is right now and also when I'm gonna get there the cool thing is I can actually change this so I can make this whatever I want it to be I could be it could be miles per hour I can change this to see how far it is how long it take me or what time I'm gonna get there so it's really cool in the customizations and allows you to have flexibility there but that is essentially the navigation system um, I'm also gonna attach a few shots of me driving um, with the navigation system on and going on some routes um, just so you get a feel of what it looks like when you're actually driving but I had to do a lot of talking so I didn't do that on this part but once this video ends, I'm just going to um, add on those videos for you. So I hope this helped and I hope you have a better idea and a better understanding now of how the navigation system works on the Boss BN965 VLC. And yes, I know this was quite in depth, but I wanted you to get a whole full um, understanding of how everything is. So that way you can decide yourself if you want to get this or not. Um, but again, Thank you guys for your time and thank you for watching this and uh, I will talk to y'all later. All right. Bye-bye.